Hey guys, Hex here with another building tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at some designs using falling entity blocks. I was introduced to these blocks by a video by a YouTuber that I followed for quite a while. A lot of you guys know him, uh, Azumavoid. So yeah, so he, he created a video about these falling entity blocks and um, I was inspired to make my own. Also, there's another guy named Abros7. Abro 7. So I'm going to put links to the, both of their videos too, then they go into a little bit more detail about these. But what I wanted to do today was just to share a couple of ways that I thought would be cool to use these falling entity blocks. And the first thing is you can see here are these little couches. And I've always wanted to be able to have a couch where I could have different colors uh, for the seat because pretty much you're limited to like the, all the half slabs. But this one here gives me lots of different colors for the seat. So this is one where it's using some white concrete powder and some, this is white concrete, or this is a concrete powder that's cyan, but it looks like half slabs. What is going on there? So I'm gonna show you some trickery uh, of how to get that done. Um, here's another idea of how to do it. You've got uh, some, some uh, blue wool and some gray uh, powdered concrete. This is all brown concrete, brown powdered concrete. So I was thinking of making like a leather couch. It kind of looks more like a poop couch, but oh well. <laughs> Here's one that's using the purple glaze terracotta or magenta maybe. I don't know if that's purple or magenta. I forgot. And then some pink. And then we've got a little pink lamp and a little pink um, allium plant or whatever. And so I think I think this works really well if you want to live in a fairy princess house. Uh, this one here has a little bit of an extra detail with this carpet on the top. And then I did one that's more like a sectional like this with a little coffee table. So how the heck am I getting these? If you haven't seen this before, you're probably like wondering, how is he put, making half slabs out of concrete powder? Well, let me show you, there's nothing to it really. Okay, so the way that this is gonna work is you're gonna dig down one and two blocks like that. And this is gonna be the seat. So the only limitation with these couches is the fact that you can't put them on like an upper floor if the floor is only one block deep. Um, so they kind of have to be on top of a little bit thicker floor. So that's kind of a limitation. I should have mentioned that at the beginning. But anyways, uh, we've got one and then you're going to put some cobblestone. So two things work, either either like a cobblestone wall or um, some kind of fence. So any of the wood fences or of course nether rack fence will work too. So you can, uh, any of these will be fine. I'm just going to use the cobblestone wall for now. And you just do that and then watch this. So you put some powder, so you put a, a piece of blo a block there, so it's up. And then the idea is to get it to fall onto the uh, fence or the cobblestone wall there. So there you go. You see that? <laughs> that. Okay, now if I was just to, um, let me, right there. The only way to get rid of it is that's to actually break the, the wall underneath it. If I was to place that just directly on top of the wall, it doesn't do it. Okay, so you have to place a block and then let it gravity fall down. Pretty weird. It's pretty weird. Now they're going to bounce about a little bit until you log out and log back in and then they'll stop bouncing like this. I'm not really sure what's causing this, but this is kind of a game mechanic. I don't know if it's a glitch or something, but um, I don't know how long this is going to be in, uh, in uh, like available to do. But uh, for now it works, so here you go. All right, so then we're going to do that two more times. So one and two, and then there's the seat for our couch. And then all you have to do is, you know, put the rest of the concrete around and there you go. <laughs> Pretty simple. Um, all of these couches over here are in fact built that same way, um, just using slightly different blocks. Okay, cool. Uh, let me log out and log back in just to show you that these will stop bouncing. So here we go. Here we go. rainbow wheel okay we've logged back in no more bouncing so I don't know what causes it I have no idea uh, somebody that's better with game code can figure that out all right so using that same mechanic I decided to go a little bit crazy and I built some other stuff here uh, but the next thing that's cool that I thought of doing is making like a bed so it's kind of nice to have uh, you know beds made out of half slabs or something because I feel like it's about the right height for a bed sometimes but um, sometimes you're limited on what you can do with half slabs. So this is kind of like one of those slab beds from Ikea or whatever you call it. So let's, let's take a look at this thing. So um, all that's going on here is all of this concrete powder is on top of 
some cobblestone wall or fence post. So here's how I built this. All you do is you want to dig down and just kind of dig out the shape of your bed or plan out the shape of your bed. So that looks about right. I did one, two, three, four by three. Um, you could do whatever size bed you want to do. You don't have to do four by three necessarily, but whatever, you just dig it out, and then you're going to put cobblestone wall to cobblestone wall all inside of this. And then just for temporary, we're going to go ahead and place some blocks here, here, and here. Here, here, here. Er, too many. Sorry, don't really need that one, but whatever. This is just to allow us to drop in the, um, the concrete powder. Okay, so we're going to go like that, and then maybe we'll put a those and one of those and then something for the pillow now if you wanted to use like maybe some uh, quartz slab for the pillow that would be cool too and then there and then if you like the checkers then you could do checkers you could do stripes you could do whatever maybe we'll do this one as stripes we'll see how that looks like that and then so if you want to make it too wide like that you're done but i'm going to go one more just because that's what that one is over there okay and then here we go here we go and one there, and you get the idea, just like that. Okay, so then that kind of looks cool, but it's also a bit derpy at this point because it doesn't really look like a bed too much. So uh, I'm going to build a little headboard. Uh, let's see, I, I think I did three wide like that. One, two, three, and then some slabs here. Kind of make like a footboard, and you can start to see the bed take shape. And then this, I just put on here just to kind of simulate like a floor that's not grass. Typically, we don't put beds on grass, unless we live in a weird, weird place or something. I don't know. There we go. Cool. And then I just put like a little flower pot with a flower in it. You could decorate whatever you want. And then also, uh, just to kind of give it a little bit more shape, I put a couple of slabs there. And there you have the bed. Now, of course, I'll have to log out and log back in. Otherwise, this is more like a vibrating, like, massager bed. <laughs> so it kind of looks comfortable, really. I'm kind of tired right now. Gonna take a nap. Uh. All right. Uh, next over here, I just have like some weird. I don't know if these are like lamps or like little things. Uh, sometimes when I build like larger builds, it's like, what do I put in here? So sometimes little things like this might uh, might kind of make it look cool. So what the heck is going on here? Looks kind of strange, right? So uh, let me show you how I built this one. All you do is you take, you put some just concrete powder regular in the ground. Then I'm gonna take a cobblestone wall and then I need to go into my inventory and pull out something that you may have noticed but you may not have noticed. And it is an armor stand. All right, so on top of the cobblestone wall and I'm gonna face the direction parallel to the arms. There we are. And then now I can kind of build out my uh, little thing here. So what I need to do is drop the concrete powder on top of it like this. Boop, and there you go. Kind of sweet. Again, you got to log out, log back in to make it stop jumping around, but you get the idea with that. Uh, this one here is very simple. I'll, I'll build a different color one. Um, just going to go like that and then place a fence post and then up a couple. Hey, I thought I turned that off. So sad. I finally got the day night cycle to stop. It was uh, a matter of caps lock, was like the thing. I had, or not caps lock, but Getting the caps right. Anyway, uh, back to what I was doing. There you go. Like that. So then you can build kind of these things. I think that that might look nice to like border maybe, uh, I don't know, border like a pathway or something. I like have these as kind of like statues or something. I don't know. And then here's kind of a one that uh, went a little bit more crazy that uh, has like a triplicate one. Um, yeah, sure. I'll go ahead and make this one. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, put some concrete powder down there. And that's just kind of to give it some highlight. You don't have to do that. I'm just kind of giving you some ideas, right? Um, you can mess around with your own ideas and then plop those in. And then I did this and then I plopped one on top of that. And there goes our third armor stand. Did that go in right? Kind of looks funny, doesn't it? Yeah, it looked right. Okay. And then we're going to go and we're going to drop our uh, concrete powder onto these. Now it's kind of probably be more efficient is if you just build like a thing like that it doesn't matter what height you drop them from and then just drop them in and there you go you got this little derpy thing all right then this is more of an asymmetrical one so it's basically the same thing as that except i made it um a bit more asymmetrical all right let's see what else we got here oh yeah these things these are really weird 
these are really cool. So this is using the similar mechanic, but this is using more uh, a slightly different one. So instead of having the half slab be um, vertical, it's sort of horizontal. We're going to go ahead and put our oops, uh, kind of concrete base on. So I did five wide, but however wide you want to do it doesn't matter. I'm just going to show you the mechanic. You can also check this out on Azuma's channel because this is the one that I saw that kind of got me inspired to start making these things. And then the tricky part is figuring out where the heck you put the little tower. Um, I think it's right there. So then I'm going to build up a little bit. And then what you do is you're going to take and you're going to put some um, cobblestone walls like that. And then you take a shulker box. This is really strange. And you set a shulker box right there. You can use pistons with, um, what do you call them, slime blocks on them. Uh, check out Abros's channel for that. I'll put it down in the description. Okay, um, I'm going to do mine in pink. So then what you do is you drop some sand in front of the shulker box. And then watch this. This is, this is really trippy. You open the shulker box and it pushes that over. And then I'm building mine backward, aren't I? And then you have to break one of these. And then you break the other one. And it falls down and it doesn't work at all. <laughs> I need to move this thing. That's the problem. It takes a little bit sometimes to get this to work where you want it to go. So uh, it's good that you're seeing that I'm having trouble with it because you'll probably have trouble with it too, and that's okay. That's okay. All right, here we go. Try this again. All right, one more time. We're going to drop our block in front of the shulker box. You open the shulker box like that, and then you're going to break this one, break this one, and then you break this one, and it'll fall. And then when it falls, it's going to sit like kind of partially on there like that. Okay. Now the thing is, is like the center of this block um, has to be, if it's off of the block that you're sitting it on, then it won't snap to it. But if the center ends up over here, and this is what happened with when I had the wall right here, um, if the center of this thing is over a little bit and it's over the, this block, then it will snap to it and it won't do this. So that's that. All right. So then what you want to do is do that two more times like this. And then once you figure out the... Uh, you know, the spacing, I guess, then it's pretty easy. So let's go beep, beep, boop, boop. Okay. And then we're going to drop in our concrete powder. For some reason, I'm liking this magenta. And I put these walls in the wrong place. Whoopsie. <laughs> it's super easy, Hex says. <laughs> Nothing's easy. That's what I've decided in life. All right. Open, open up, open up. There we go. Open that one. You can open this one, and then you break these first, and then these, and then they'll fall right into place. Bam, like that. Okay, cool. Then what you do is you're going to just surround the rest of them with the white concrete, like this. Now, on Abros's channel, he has some where he's, like, using pistons to push, like, half slabs into these things. And that looks really cool, but the problem is, is when I tried it and I logged out, like, the blocks would break and the entity blocks would not be able to handle that. So um, I don't know if like he's running a different version or what's going on. But anyways, if you want to do the lighting, then you put these in here. If you don't want to do the lighting, you don't have to do that. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, this one here is a little bit funky. You can do the same thing as if you drop them down. And then I'll show you this really quickly. Uh, hopefully this video is not getting too long on us. Uh, let's see, so then we're gonna go here. And we're going to go all the way up to about there. And then, of course, I always do this. I always replace the block that I need to use next. There's my shulker box. Okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. And then you're going to put out two like that. And one more. And then we're going to go this our powder. Open the shulker box. Break this one first and then that one and then it should fall. Now here's the thing. If I want to put another one on top of this, well I can do the same process, but the problem is is it's going to fall inside of that one. So I've got to deal with that somehow and I'll show you how to compensate for it. Let me show you what I'm talking about first, okay? So if I break this good. <laughs> if I break this block right here and then if I break this it's going to fall, but it's going to because that's just an entity block, it's going to fall like inside of it. So I've got two of them or didn't quite do what I wanted. I want them to stack. So to get them to stack, what you do is you drop a bit of that on top of that. So now this block is actually solid right here. I can stand on it, watch. Beep, 
oops, standing on the block. Okay, so now what you can do is you can drop in the next one and keep going. Let me show you. Like this, like this. Hey, stop that. <laughs> there, bring it up, break, break, and now see it falls on top, and then just do it one more time if you want to make exactly what you see on the tin. And there we go, open, break, stop that, break, break, there, oops, I forgot to do this step, uh, there we go, Hex is doing super good today, it's been a long week, you guys, it's been a long week, all right, eventually I will get this right, there we go, open it up, there we go. break that one, and then break this one, and it'll fall in place, and if you want to, just so it looks the same on the back, good. What is the deal? <laughs> Come on. Drop one more of those on. There we go. Okay, and then you can break your little tower once you get those things done, and then you put in your white concrete. So it's kind of labor intensive. It's something for like a special highlight or like a special build or something. Um, you wouldn't want to build this way all the time. It would take you forever, but that is how you could do that. You can continue to build these upwards and stack them next to each other. You can do some interesting other stuff. I just wanted to show you that real quick. Okay, uh, let's see, onwards, onwards. I'm not gonna go over all of these. I'm just gonna kind of briefly show you how this one, this one's like kind of like a little centerpiece or something. I'm not sure what's going on here, but I just thought it looked cool. I thought maybe this is like some sort of like a, like a monolith, like a little alien, like just weird floating block thing. So all that it is, is I have a fence post right there and then I dropped a block on top of that fence post and I just kind of surrounded it to make it look like a thing that's floating. Um, here is exactly the same thing except I just did a few of them up and I used some different colors. This one here is exactly the same thing except I uh, just made it kind of a longer one. I don't really know if I like this one so well, but I was just playing around with it. I thought I'd show it to you. Maybe some of you are like, wow, that's super cool. Uh, here's some interesting, an interesting way to use it with uh, just sort of some wall decor. So if you have like a big blank wall like I have in the world of Hex that I need to decorate, um, then this might work pretty well too. Uh, so all it is is you've just got, I'll just show you the mechanic real quick. Since they didn't show the last one, I might as well show this one. So I just do something like that and then put that there and then put um, some fence and then drop that on there like that. And then just extend the wall and go for, go from there. So it's kind of a cool little thing. This guy here is just more of the same kind of stuff. It's just kind of some sort of floating like tree light thing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, if you want to see that one, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just put the fence post, drop the concrete powder on. Um, not too bad. This one here, this is crazy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we're going to start things off. We're going to put um, some concrete up like this. Do, 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 do. Uh, just kind of go up a little higher than you need, like two, like about three blocks, I think, higher than you need. And then you want to put a shulker block box like that, shulker block, shulker box like that. And then you want to come here and put another shulker box so that it's like facing on a corner with that one, like that. Okay, super cool. And then from there, you want to have four of these cobblestone walls or fence posts in that gap. So if you look down on it, you can see, okay, here's this, and then there's those four. Okay, so then the next thing you want to do is you want to place some uh, some sand or whatever we're using. I guess this is not sand, is it? This is con powdered concrete. And then you need to go into your inventory and get a slab of some sort. I used um, quartz slabs. I think they're going to look the best just because they look really clean and modern. All right, fine. We'll move it there. Whatever. Boo. You might have to toy around this with this to get it the way you want it. So, as you can see, it is not the easiest thing to do. To get, like it's easy to do it, but it's not easy sometimes. You have to tinker with it to try to get it so that it lands in the spot you want it. There it goes. Hey, look at that. All right. So the next thing you need to do, and this is the weird part, is you need to take and you need to build a little tower like this, and then you're going to put on that tower a no one over there we go so i got a two block gap and then what we're going to need is we're going to need a, a piston and i'll replace that and then we need something to power the piston i am using this redstone block okay so then we're going to put a piston there and then we're going to put this 
there. No, too high. All right, getting this right is, it's tricky. Put one there, put the quartz slab there. So what you wanna do is make sure that it's gonna be as close to right above the top of this thing. You can see that they're kind of um, overlapping a little bit, like this is a little bit taller than this wind comes down. So then that's why we need to do this for the piston. Power the piston, push that over, and then you can stack the next one on top of it, just like we did before, and repeat. Oh, yeah, you're gonna drop them like this. Behind it. So then you have that kind of a thing. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. I think this looks pretty cool. So then that's kind of just like a little corner detail. Looks pretty nice. Okay, uh, a couple more. This one here is using that same trick that we used over there, except I just surrounded it with a couple of these, a couple of those. And then this one, I did have to push these in with pistons right there and there. Uh, this one here is just kind of a taller version of some of those over there, sort of like a beacon derpy lamp thing. This right here, these are some beach chairs. Let me show you the beach chair, chair real quick. So I'll do another pink one. So we'll go ahead and dig down two blocks, put these in, pow, pow. Okay, and then you're gonna put, uh, let's see, um, well, let's do pink and white like that. Okay, and then right here, then we're gonna go into our decoration, or our redstone, sorry. I'm gonna grab out a uh, wooden trap door. And there you have it, a little, a little beach chair. <laughs> okay, this thing here is a little bit strange. Uh, what it is is it's actually like kind of a secrety entrance. Well, it's not that secret because it's kind of like something weird is going on here. Let's see. Uh, but you can kind of stand on top of this thing, and then if you get just in the right spot, you will fall on through, and then you can go and check out your base. So it's kind of like a nice little way to uh, get in and out of perhaps an underground base of some sort. So that's all these are. Um, to build those, all, you, all it is is just some bigger around it so you can see. So we just have some fence posts there, and then I have one fence post in the middle, like this. Okay. Very good. Okay, guys. Well, I hope you'd like some of these designs. I, I hope that this inspires you maybe to make your own designs. And I really think that this looks cool. I'm going to be adding it to my world. And I think you should do the same. Keep in mind that this might not work on your server because some servers have a, uh, like a modder or something that uh, prevents this from happening. Uh, not sure what's that, what's, what that's about. But anyway, this has been Hex, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and God bless.